What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I have more news on the next event for Destiny 2 and that is Crimson Days. So a recent data mine leak was posted to Reddit which is you guys want to do check out. You can find it linked within the video description. Now this leak is legit and Cosmo himself has confirmed Crimson Days is making a return as you guys can see on screen now with this which he left on Reddit. But he says it won't be the same as last year which is interesting but until we get full details on the event seeing much of the available loot which has also been data mined I'm still a little underwhelmed at the moment that is until Bungie have confirmed a few things I want to see coming to the game but let's read through what's said about this event brought to us by Jinza on reddit so credit to him he states within the data mine he finds scripts referring to crimson pvp features as well as a possible crimson raid edition of some kind let's check out some of the scripts he found these obviously refer to quest lines uh, loot and so forth guardians honor the unbreakable bonds they forge on and off the battlefield by competing in the crucible crimson days festival first follow the rose petals in the tower to test Everest. she has something for you this no doubt people will be a gift of some sort speak to Shax in the tower to learn more about his love for crimson days as boisterous as ever Shax speaks warmly and loudly of crimson days and have his challenge to guardians who choose to celebrate with him in the crucible Shax congratulates you and your crimson bond on battles hard for and victories hard earned during crimson days and offers a handsome reward with his inspiring words complete crimson days matches to earn holiday themed rewards crimson doubles win a crimson days match in sudden death which i believe will be a part of Elimination, which is come back, which I'll speak about in a sec. He also goes on to mention cosmetic items he found, also emotes, gold shells, ornaments, shaders, mods, transmit effects, spells, and more. These are no doubt going to be a part of the Crimson Engram from Eververse. The Engram contains one Crimson Days Vanity Reward and a small stack of shaders or a transmit effect. These next scripts I believe refer to maybe boons of some sort or maybe stuff like reward packages and gifts. This pack contains a small stack of shaders that evoke the inspiring nature of an unbreakable bond in honour of Crimson Days. A one time bundle for guardians who develop lasting bonds contains Crimson Days engrams, bright dust, a weapon ornament for a graviton lance and a fire team medallion available only during the Crimson Days. Show your love for Crimson Days with these exclusive ghost shells and emotes. Speed through Crimson Days alongside your Crimson Bond with these exclusive sparrows. These shaders and mods in their colours of roses, love and other bonds capture the spirit of this year's Crimson Days celebrations. Your favourite weapon will inspire new bonds everywhere when they're customised with these Crimson Days exclusive ornaments. Now the ghost shell available from Crimson Days also tracks kills and Tyro Khan has the same within this event the following was also data mined. Crimson Days are a celebration of partnership and commitment. As the Vanguard's leading archivist of Epic Legends, Tyro Khan has a certain fondness for the holiday. So yes people Crimson is making a return. Now as underwhelmed as I am at the moment and you can't really blame me there are still a few interesting things to talk about. The following image was also provided by Jinza. So here we see what looks to be a raid related feature. What could this be? Imagine Callus dressed in a sexy pink stocking set. I would definitely raid again. We also see what's not that quest lines of some sort. Maybe an individual quest line or all from the same quest line. We don't know yet. We see this emblem here. We also see which is no doubt a new exotic emote. We see these crimson doubles mode which I believe this is but we also see this right here which I believe could be elimination. The classic 4v4 mode. Now elimination was a part of the API update which came with the Curse of Osiris DLC. So we know elimination exists within the game somewhere but we don't know when it's coming. It could come with the Crimson Days event alongside Rumble which we know is in the game as well. So yeah we're just going to have to wait and see. We also see here a gift box which no doubt might be a daily thing. Might be something you're rewarded for doing certain activities, quest line features, whatever. Who knows. Now as great as some of this could be, I'm waiting for Bungie to address Eververse and it's as simple as that. Because I don't care what features they add, if the best loot is locked behind Eververse engrams, it's going to be much of the same shit. 
I say this because the loot in this next image I believe will be a part of these new dawning engrams. Now this could not be a problem as long as we have an easier way to obtain these engrams other than getting one per week for doing the weekly quest line. The loot that comes with this event needs to be obtainable for us all without deep pockets. It's as simple as that. But Bungie have spoke out about changes coming to Eververse. Let's hope they are great indeed. The game needs it. Now the changes will be announced or spoke about within this week's weekly update. Expected Thursday so eyes up guarding it should be a good one. And on that note guys I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did leave a like it really does help me out. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss one of the many Destiny 2 uploads I post each week be sure to hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get it right.